Hi everyone, this is Jackie again from Bronx Bobbles and this is part two of my brooch collection. Um, I'm really excited about doing these videos and, and I'm trying to get more out there because I do have an extensive custom jewelry collection and it's going to take me a while to get through everything. Um, so we're starting out with some of the small pieces and then eventually I'll work my way up to some of the elaborate um, ethnic and uh, just downright beautiful pieces. They're probably my more expensive pieces, but I have so much in my collection. I think I need to get started with um, these brooches. So without further ado, um, here is part two, which I think is gonna be one of very many um, uh, videos. Okay, let's start with this one here. This here is my um, enamel uh, lily of the valley brooch. I don't remember getting this, but and I think this is a Liz Claiborne because it has that triangle. I bought this, oh gosh, in the 90s. Um, but it's really, really pretty enamel with beautiful um, enamel on the green uh, leaf and the bells, really pretty. Here is um, a brooch. This is from KC, so I think that's Kenneth Cole. This one has like a 3D dimensional quality to it. Um, even the back is finished off. That's how you can tell these pieces are a better quality, not some of the cheaper ones, because if the back is finished the way this one is with a beautiful leaf, um, you can tell that this is a, a, a better quality pen. Beautiful on the leaf and the two tulips, which we remind me of uh, the movie that I saw in regards to tulips, the tulip craze. This is a really, really nice piece and it's unmarked, which is interesting because it is a quality piece. Um, it, it's riveted in the back and each of the stones are, um, let's see if I can rivet in the back. Each stone is set, uh, prong set. And then the leaves are enamel, and these are white uh, stones. This is a really, really pretty piece. It has a three-dimensional quality to it. Um, it's not marked, but it's certainly a better quality pen. This pen, then pen, I like a lot. This brooch. This one is also not marked, but it's a tremblant. So when you walk, you see how it trembles. That's not the camera, that's really, well, maybe I am doing, <laughs> moving the camera a little bit, but um, it has like a spring to it. And I, 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 I have several of these pens that I'll be showing you, not in this connection here, but throughout my, my, my collections that I'll be showing you. Um, this was a really nice pen. This was a recent acquisition. I think I bought this last week for like $2.50. And um, no name brand, but the stones were really, really pretty. Um, a lot of times these pieces, the collections, um, one of the pieces had the name on it. So for example, this is a brooch. It probably came with a matching necklace and earrings and and um, uh, a whole paru set. Um, but probably just the earrings were probably marked or the necklace and not the brooch. Um, uh, I would say that this is not a high, high quality pin, but it's certainly beautiful. I don't know if you can tell the coloring. I can't tell if it's like purple or cognac. Regardless, and it has like an iridescent rhinestones or prong set. Still a lovely piece. And I only paid $2 for that or $2.50. This was an interesting piece. Um, it's the Madonna. If you saw some of my other videos, you know that I collect a lot of religious pieces. I don't know why, because I'm not particularly religious. It's my influence of my childhood. But this is a Madonna piece. I happen to like anything green and orange, and so this fit the bill. This is a turn of the century piece. It has a C-class. I might have worn this maybe one time, and it's pretty substantial. So it's probably like two and a half to three inch brooch. Still love it. Along the lines of that porcelain pieces, there was a time when I was buying these big, big porcelain pieces. I was just in love with them. So um, my first um, um, video on brooches, you'll see some other, uh, but this is probably one of the nicest brooches that I have. And what this is, 
you know, um, it's um, transferred. It's not painted. Um, uh, so the picture of the portrait of the lady is transferred. And then they added the necklace and they hand painted that and they hand put the gold foil around to um, frame the portrait. The back has that C clasp. And you know, it's interesting that today, I see a lot of young girls were sporting this uh, gray hair and they were doing it back in the 1900s. This brooch is perhaps one of my oldest brooch and, and I think it was part of the one, the collection that started it all. That's how old this is. I remember wearing this brooch in high school and in college, and I went into high school in the 80s. So this is a really old piece. It's, it's I thought it was just stunning. And it has that sunburst back in the 60s, I wanna say, um, this brooch was made because of Sputnik going up into space and all space exploration, um, that these brooches became very, very popular. It is riveted. So it's a quality piece, it's not signed. It has tested, withstand the test of time. If I had it in the 80s, I had it for at least three, going on four decades now. And it's still going strong and it's a piece that has sentimental value to me. So um, although it's not worth a lot, it's worth a lot to me. I don't remember where I got this brooch, um, but there was a time that I was just in love with those Victoriana and the Cupid and or cherub babies these were a cherub, this was a cherub baby what's beautiful about this is that it's the size it's a huge size um i want to say it's three inches and i guess i need to start bringing my ruler here too um as i do these videos i learn more and more the things that i need to have handy um and that is being one of them is, is a um is a ruler and the back of this says israel 925 so it's a martin piece um, it really has a sculptural va um, way about it. It looks like a little piece of sculpture. And if it wasn't marked Israel, I probably would have thought this was Italian. Um, but it's a really gorgeous brooch. I don't think I've ever worn it. And I probably should because it's a nice size. I really like it a lot. And I have several of these. And I have several in gold. I think this is the nicest one I got, though. So this was a recent acquisition, and um, this is a reverse, okay, here we go. I need to reverse it. This is a reverse painted pen. And what it is, is it's a piece of uh, crystal glass, and um, they painted it on the inside, and then sealed it with the backing of this brooch. This, and I'm looking at it, to see what the background is. And you see how that background has an iridescence to it? I think that's a mother of pearl background with a basket of flowers. Um, and I believe I paid $2 for this brooch. brooch. Um, and it's a C-class brooch. You can see that at the thrift store. This was pretty recent. I would say in the last month I acquired this. I, I, I didn't have one of these in my collection, so I was really excited to, to find this one. Um, it's a really nice piece and it's probably worth a little bit. This brooch, um, I remember buying this brooch probably in the 90s. And this is one of those brooches that you can use as a pendant and as a brooch. And it's um, Martin, but um, it's marked original by Robert. And he was um, very prolific in the 60s. I don't know a whole lot about him. But the girl inside is, she says, she's beautiful. Look at her. Can you see that? A light, let's see if I can do something with this light. Um, maybe that's, that's not better. But I started taking up painting and I'm painting these delicate faces and I'm looking at this and there's no way that I can paint a face as delicate as she is. And what it looks like to me, which is similar to the other brooch that I have, and that is that it's um, a copy of some sort. And then they hand painted some of the details, including the white on the ribbon and the pearl necklace that she has. And I've had this 
since the 90s, I want to say. So I had this for a long time, and I did buy this at a, at a yard sale, and I believe I paid a dollar for it. This was an interesting brooch. I thought it was like Avon, but I don't see a marking on it at all. This is a Christmas tree brooch um, made of enamel. But what's interesting is that each and every one of these little uh, crystal um, Christmas balls is actually an earring. So this is a brooch that has a built-in earring. So we usually see a lot of brooches that turn into pendants, but this is the first brooch that I've seen that um, actually could be worn as earrings as well. And that's why I bought this, because uh, I liked the novelty of it. Sticking with the Christmas theme, this is a brooch that I bought, I can't even tell you how long I've had this. Definitely in the 90s, perhaps even in the 80s. Um, and this is an art piece. And there was a time that I loved Christmas. I still love Christmas. But um, sad story for another day. Um, I had a really rough, uh, and I lost somebody special to me right before Christmas. And kind of put a little hole in the... Um, the balloon um, for my Christmas um, but I'm getting it back again really starting to like it and I like anything that had a kinetic kinetic ability to it and that's some movement and sound and that's what I like about this and that's also what I like about this is that that little quality that makes it a little bit more special steps it up from an average brooch in this case it's the sound and the movement and this is an art brooch and I've had it for a long time, and it's very special to me. Here's two brooches bought at two different times. And when I see a brooch that I have already, I tend to buy two of them. Um, the both, you know, I tend to buy them as pairs. Um, it's not marked. It is riveted. I think I paid under $2 for, for each of these. I bought one at a yard sale, one at, a, at, at the, um, at the um, what do you call that, the thrift store. Again, a sunburst quality flower motif, probably done in the 60s. This one is a Monet piece. Um, again, I started to pick up Monet pieces after I bought my Monet book. I do have an extensive custom jewelry book collection, and they do influence the things that I buy, this being one of them, um, and probably do a video on just my custom jewelry books, and that's probably going to be a two or three part video because it's that that's extensive. Uh, that's how extensive my book collection is. But this one is enameling. It has fan. It has a fan with a dangling little heart. I always love anything with that kinetic, you know, little dangling. Um, um, novelty to it and I use fans quite often and I do have an extensive fan collection um, because I dance and when I used to go out dancing often I would always put a matching uh, fan in my bag and fan myself off when I got off the dance floor and just women go crazy for it um, and I wonder why more women don't use fans because every time I put pull out my fan people love it they even ask me to um, um, if they can use my fan um, so I always throw a fan in to my purse when I go out, and especially if I know I'm going out dancing. Yes, I love it. I haven't been dancing much now that COVID's been around, but I'm sure to pick it up. Here's another recent acquisition. When I say recent, I mean like two days ago I acquired this pin. It's, um, it's almost like a birthday pin, I want to say, because you got the balloons. Um, this has a beautiful bow with these dangling little uh, rhinestones and they are prong set. And again, anything that has that movement, I just love and so that's why I bought this pen. There is no mark on the back. It has those swirly swirls. And um, I'm thinking it's an Avon pen, but I thought Avon marked their jewelry. So if you guys know what it is, let me know. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Here is a psychedelic brooch. I call it psychedelic because it has that swirly swirl and it kind of like mesmerizes, like look into my eyes. This is a really cool brooch because 
Again, it has that 3D quality to it. It's a hard, it's, it's not a flimsy uh, metal at all. It has this brass and it's got these beautiful glass um, wires uh, with these beautiful cobalt blue uh, stones and then a big cobalt blue stone in the middle. Um, and if you see the back, you can see how the, um, the blue uh, beads are attached by wire. This brooch is not signed at all, although I would say this is a high quality brooch and I'm surprised it's not signed. And this was an, uh, an acquisition about a year ago. This brooch here is one of my oldest brooches. This brooch goes back to the 80s, and I remember buying this. This is a Maravella. I remember buying this brooch at a yard sale. And one of these stones, I can't tell you which one, was missing. And I bought it for under a dollar, I think 50 cents. And I just thought the blue and the red combination was stunning. Ironically enough, guess what I'm wearing? I'm wearing that combination. Now this brooch, see that? Probably wear that like that because it matches the tassels and the shirt that I'm wearing. Huh, that was not planned. Um, but I, obviously you can tell I like that combination. Um, I was able to repair the stone and I guess it did such a good job. I can't even tell you which stone it is. And I guess at this point, I don't even need to say that anymore because it's very well done. I have the same brooch in an orange and black combination and I have it with my Halloween uh, pin collection because of the orange and the black, but it's the same exact pin in a different color. This brooch is a recent, recent acquisition. When I say recent, I mean like two days ago. I love my cat Lila. And so this pin, it was homage to Lila. And I do have a lot of cat pins. I tend to buy them. This is a special one. Again, very high quality made. It's got the whiskers, black eyes, little black nose, beautiful aurora borealis. It's domed. And if anyone knows about Costume Jewelry, they'll know exactly what this piece is and who made it. Because Warner, and his, see the writing here, is known for their domed cat and um um the, you know this 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 style now this pin i think i paid two dollars for it i think it's adorable this is a stunningly beautiful enamel pin and see that elephant with his upturned nose that's why i bought this i love the detail on it and Look at, look at the detail of his blanket, his hat. And this is a Royal Siam piece. And I think that's from Thailand. And um, I was big Barnum and Bailey uh, um, circus lover. And mostly because of the elephants now, as you may know, Barnum and Bailey no longer ex 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 exists anymore. Um, and I think part of it is because of the taste of the, the people out there, but also maybe because of the animals and the people who felt that they were being cruel to the animals. Um, but let's not get into that sort of conversation here. Um, as far as this brooch, there was no cruelty to animals in the making of this brooch. Here's another Christmas pin. And again, <laughs> look at his dangling little feet. Is that adorable or what? I don't even remember where, get, where I got this brooch. Um, it's not marked. The stones are really, really big. It is a little heavy. I think that these stones, no, they're plastic. It's a cheapy, cheapy pin. But regardless, still cool, still wearable. And his little feet is just to die for. Love him. Ah, let's go to here. Now, this was a brooch that I presented at my last um, um, brooch 
but I brought it back out today because I was really curious about it and I ended up doing the research. It's not baked like, like I thought it was. This is actually Baltic Amber. And these pens are highly collectible. They come in all different sizes. Uh, this is, I guess, a medium size. Um, the class is a C-class, very well made, and it goes for a pretty penny. Um, I like the cha-cha-ness, again, anything that has movement and sound stimulates your ears, stimulates your eyes, and when you're wearing it, you know, you can feel the tremble. This is a lovely, lovely piece. Now, I worked at a winery on Long Island for quite some time, um, but I bought this brooch before I even worked there. But when I see this brooch, that's what it reminds me of. And so, um, along that lines is this brooch here. Now, I paid $2 for this brooch about a year ago. And this brooch here is actually Russian. This is Russian uh, silver with... Uh,